We are here for game one of the Palmetto Series between Clemson and South Carolina. The Tigers and the Gamecocks going at it. We have a home, a neutral, and then an away for each of these teams. The home game in Columbia, South Carolina at Founders Park was canceled last night due to rain. Game one, this is a very exciting in-state rivalry matchup for bragging rights within the states. So that being said, let's get into it. one great thing about the state of South Carolina? This, I mean, it don't matter any sport. It don't matter if we're both bad, both good. This, I mean, look, I mean, everyone's here and it's wild the whole time. It's sweet. Okay, now do you have a favorite player on the field right now? Uh, probably Cole. Um, I watched him in high school and now and he's wild, man. <laughs> he can hit a baseball. It's What's crazy. the biggest change you've seen between high school Cole and now Cole? Um, I mean, when he first got here, of course, he didn't play as much, but his at-bats now, just he looks like he's a MLB guy. His <laughs> at-bats are nice. And he don't take any wild swings anymore. He's just under control exactly. and mashing. Exactly. It's awesome. All right, so we're at Segra Park. We got two dogs to review. We got one standard. Then we got one chili dog. What I love about this is you can really tell the worker had a good grip on the dog. Good dog security. Good dog. That's a damn fine hot dog. Basic. I do recognize the cheese from Sam's Club and the chili probably from there as well. Now it's time for the regular. This was about a $4 dog. Not the worst price. That's a Martin's potato roll. I can identify that. You could wake me up at 5 a.m., throw me out of bed, slap me with a bag of them. I would know Martin's potato rolls. This is a Martin's potato roll. I don't know if it's a Nathan's Famous. The Jumbo Dogs, to my understanding, were Nathan's Famous, sold out, as Nathan's Famous would do. But good dogs, good dogs. Now on the con side, I waited about 45 minutes, got in line in the top of the third, got out of the line, bottom of the fourth. That's what the pitch clock will do to you, but also not the smoothest operation here. So while the excitement is large because I finally got the hot dog, I don't know if it's really worth it. I think this one's right around a seven and a half in terms of chili cheese dogs, regular dog, middle of the pack, that is a six. But a six is a good score in my opinion. So one thing about the Fireflies Park that is just simply elite are the center field bathrooms. So we are here beyond the center field fence. There it is right there. And in these bathrooms, there's a lot of kids running around because there is a little kids park right back there, but minimal lines and the soap, the soap smells like Old Spice Swagger, which you don't get that just anywhere. Another great amenity about Segra Park, where Clemson and South Carolina are playing the Palmetto Classic. We got a bouncy ball, we're good. Here you go. They have a bar in center field, full service bar, all the way wrapping around. You can see the game while you're ordering your drinks. I think the service time is pretty equitable. I don't think it's too bad, but you see people filtering in and out there. Phenomenal area to check out a game.
We are here with Dom at the Summerfield Barn. He's got one of the beer bats here at Sober Park. Now, Dom, how long did it take you to acquire that? Um, I'd say it took us about 15 minutes. That's not a bad time to get the beer bat. Now, what kind of beer do we fill? We got Michelob Ultra. Okay, a light beer. Light beer. Light beer. Good choice. Good choice. Light on calories. Good on exactly. the stomach. Yeah. Now, how would you say this is compared to other ballpark drinking experiences? Have you had other ballpark drinking experiences? So, to be honest with you, this is actually my first beer bet. Okay. So, I love them. I'm feeling glowing. Good. You are. <laughs> yeah, I think you are. You are <laughs> but no, it's a great, I love it. I, this is my first time I have one. I like it. We are here at Sager Park with John taking in the game. Now, John, what is one great thing about the state of South Carolina? Environmental health science side of that is really pretty in the beaches. Does it get hit number 23? Jared! But uh, I do like the upstate too, like Greenville area and Clemson and all that. Now I see you're in a Seth Beer jersey. I am. That is a phenomenal jersey. Do you have a favorite current Clemson player? You no, know, um, honestly, we've got a good squad this year. A lot of our pitchers are really good. A lot of our players, we just had a, our shortstop just made a phenomenal play. That's short. But uh, I don't have necessarily a favorite player. Um, no one yet. No one yet. No, no. I mean, a lot of them last year were great. Yeah, I know. Kanan Grice was insane. Yeah, honestly, he was probably my favorite player to watch last year. That's a, that's a good call. You get a lot of versatility with him. He can hit the ball a million miles, throw it super fast off the mound, too. Oh, this is Jess Carino, uh, class of 21, University of South Carolina Gamecock. What's up? Right. Pleasure to meet you, Stephen Shock. I went to college too, don't really remember the years. But we're here, here at Sager Park. You have the beer bat. Now, getting this beer bat, did you acquire it at the bar in center field? No, sir. I acquired it at the bar uh, right right up third baseline. It was the only place they were giving them out. Okay. They told me if I got it there and I finished it before the seventh inning stretch, I may get an A-B before the game ends. Really? I think they'll give it to you. I really I think so. they'll give it to you. If you have seven of those, yeah. you just go and take the A-B yourself. No one can take it from you. Gavin Costas who? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jets, class of 21. Now, what do you like the most about the state of South Carolina? Is there something you like particularly? Is there something that's The liquor out? laws. Oh, man, I mean. too. Those are good. Yeah, the, yeah, the fact that you can go into a liquor store with a fake ID in the state of South Carolina, <laughs> that's great. But if we want to be a little bit, bit more appropriate here, oh, man, I mean, it, it's the weather. The University of South Carolina is in the best city in the entire Southeast, right? Columbia, South Carolina. We absolutely love it. Go Gamecocks. All right, now last question before we let you go and get back to the beer bat so you can finish that to get your A-B. I can't wait. Who's your favorite player on the team? Other than yourself, when you get in the ball. Yeah, you know, obviously I take myself first, maybe three-hole, four-hole cleanup. Sure. Uh, this team this year, I mean, no, no, uh, just the tip. Yeah, he went yard. That was cool and all, but I'm going with the preseason All-American, Ethan Petri. Guy's a stud. I mean, all he has to do is swing the bat. The balls don't land. I mean, I was looking earlier. Maybe it was uh, some highlights from last year. I'm still looking to see the ball land. I think it's in Olympia pool now. So, That's a any, pool. A great pool, great pool. Anyway, <laughs> go Gamecocks. It's great to talk to you, man. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. It.
first question, being in South Carolina, what's one great thing about the state of South Carolina? Uh, probably the population. The population, yes. just in general, the number of it, or just oh, yeah. the, the people here? The people. Just all right, all right. Just the population and getting to meet new people. Population getting to meet new people. Okay. I would have to say the beach. I mean, it's just like a fun vacation spot to go to and everything. That's a great call. Now we got to go. Who's your favorite player on the field right now? College or, baseball? Favorite college baseball player? Well, me personally, my older brother, Cam Canarello. But That's a good answer. Many people would give you that answer. That's oh, yeah. a good answer. I'm going to have to go with Garrett James. All right, Garrett James. I'm going to have to say both. I like Cam and Garrett. Well, next, we got some Clemson fans, some South Carolina fans. First of all, we're in the state of South Carolina. What's the best thing about the state of South Carolina? Definitely, uh... Everywhere but Clemson. That's the best part. <laughs> Pimento cheese. Pimento cheese. That's a good answer. What do we got? The, the Tigers. The Tigers. All right. National championships. I mean, can't complain about that. Can't complain about that. Either. Now, we got a lot of talent on the field today. Who's our favorite player? Who do we got? Tigers. Tigers. Good call. Good job. Oh, yeah. He went to call to Chelsea. Call to Chelsea, guy. Okay. All right. He's a, he's I'm going to say Ethan Petrie. Two run bomb, top top of the night, tie that thing up. I, I want to say Petrie right now. I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Messina from South Carolina. There you go, Somerville Stuck guy. Stuck out for a yeah. while, Somerville guy. Okay, last thing, we got a tie game. We're going into extras. How's this game gonna end? What's the bold prediction? Walk off home run. Okay. Okay. For, for, okay. Wow. All right. All right. Okay. That's bold. I'm gonna say South Carolina is gonna. Score two in the in the top of the tenth right here and win six to four. Okay. Uh, they're, they're out of pitching. They already used their best reliever. We're about to score two right here. There we go. And uh, yeah, we're about to okay. baseball game has finally come to its conclusion. This one coming to an end with a walk-off bomb in the bottom of the 12th from the Clemson Tigers. It was an absolute mammo shot, but this game had a little bit of everything from comeback bombs in the 9th to walk-offs in the 12th. But do not fret, the video is not over. We got one last surprise stop. So stay tuned for that, and if not, that's all right. We'll see you in week four. All right, so we have made it to Bucky's now. I've never been to a Bucky's before, but we were driving to the game and we passed by this one and I was like, hey, you know what? We need to go there after the game, see what it's all about. I've heard a lot of fuss, so let's go check it out. I love this little beaver, it's so fucking awesome. So, so far we got the roasted cashews, warm bag of nuts, can never go wrong. Love legumes. And then we are going with the beef burrito, because I really want this to be a bad road trip. All right, we have made it out of Bucky's official review. They have everything in there. I am very fortunate. I, like an idiot, forgot my Pikachu blanket this road trip. Fortunately, they had it in there for me so I could pick one up there. First up, we have the nuts because you always start with the nuts as everybody knows. They look good. A lot of them stuck together in each cluster, which that, that's a good sign. I keep biting my cheek, which I think that's user air. These are delicious though, really good tasting. I think they're healthy for me. I don't really know. But either way, they're good. Now, little palate cleanser going from the nuts to something else. Always got to refresh the palate. 
We got some sweet tea for that purpose. Pretty good, pretty good sweet tea. Now we're moving on to the Texas cheesesteak burrito. I grabbed the beef burrito originally, but there were refried beans in that, and I'm about two hours away from home, so that's not happening. That's just, there's no toilet in this SUV. <clears throat> Okay, getting right into it. Looks loggy. Looks like a log. This is phenomenal. I don't know what's going on inside. Where's the camera? There it is. It's really good though. Highly recommend it. If you're ever going to Bucky's, go and get the Texas style, what was it? Texas cheesesteak burrito. This is $8 phenomenally well spent. I don't think I've spent $8 this well in a long time. I would drive just to Bucky's to get this. So you should too. Now, of course, before I left, I had to get one last thing, a little sweet. I mean, I got beaver nuggets because every billboard for the last 170 miles has told me you get beaver nuggets when you go to Bucky's. So, got that. Gonna put these back. I talked to the worker. She said the banana pudding is phenomenal. We're gonna put that to the test. One for one for you. Okay, that's. It's pudding. You know, pudding's basic that banana pudding is gonna all taste the same. When the bread, when the bread mixes in, that's what we got here, this is a bread bite, first bread bite. The bread, the consistency of it is phenomenal. This is a very good banana bread pudding. If you're ever going, if you're on a road trip, even if you aren't on a road trip, go to Bucky's, go and get you some food, it is phenomenal. Now, one very interesting dynamic about the inside of the Bucky's I was just in was the fact that half of the store was filled by what appeared to be a church youth group. I believe it was called Crossway Churches on their hoodies. And the other half of the store was consumed by a group known, it, they ride bikes around called the Hells Angels of Omaha. Um, don't know what they do, did not connect with them about, you know, the Omaha connections, didn't see who they thought was gonna go there, or if they're getting jello shots. I don't know if that's what they're involved in in Omaha. So I didn't bring it up, but very interesting dynamic. 